All right, good afternoon, everyone. We're here for another fantastic Facebook Live open house here in Claremont, California. This time we're at 1562 Mural Drive here in Claremont. I'm going to let everybody kind of get situated, get, uh, get into the uh, open house room. And uh, once I see uh, that everybody's in and settled, we will get going. So for now, I'm just gonna leave you with some shots of the uh, area. And once we're ready, we will get started. Welcome everyone. Already starting to see a lot of people get get into the uh, open house. Hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday and their weekend so far. We have another great property to bring to you guys. Hey Laurel, thanks for joining. Everybody get situated and uh, we will take a look inside this wonderful property. For those that have already joined us, I'll give you the uh, sort of the, the basic specs of this one. So this is a three bed, three bath ranch style home here in Claremont. We are located above Foothill, um, just west of town. And we're in a wonderful residential community. The home is three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's just over 1800 square feet. Attached to car garage, large, uh, semicircular driveway here in the front and it's just over 1800 square feet just another couple minutes and then I'll take you guys on inside and we can take a look around I'll take you out to the street so you can kind of get an idea of it's a nice tree-lined street here in Claremont very quiet it's a really wonderful neighborhood We've had a couple of homes on this street sell. Um, one at the top of the street. Uh, this neighborhood's largely 50s ranch homes, 50s and 60s ranch homes, as you can kind of tell by looking around. All right, and it looks like we have uh, a lot of people here in the room. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Joe. Let me flip you around so you can all this fantastic. There we go. Hi, everyone. Had to get a little bit closer to the router. Okay, hello. Hi. So here we are, we're at 1562 Mural Drive in Claremont. Uh, for those of you just joining us, this is a three bed, three bath home, just over 1800 square feet. It has a beautiful kitchen, a very nicely updated and renovated bathroom, and an updated master bathroom as well. You'll see the hall bath, they went for like a spa retreat feeling. It's a, they did a really good job on their upgrades uh, on that uh, particular section of the house. The home's been cared for very well. Hey, John, thanks for joining us. Um, and it's in wonderful condition. So um, without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go take a look through this house. Let me flip you back around. So here we are. Again, nice nice big porch here. And they have a, they have a little roll-up shade. You, definitely enough room to put a bench. You can hang out in a nice cool evening here. And again, here's the kind of the view of, from the front looking at the street. Huge driveway, plenty of parking for all your friends, family, anybody who might be coming over to enjoy the property. Another beautiful day here in Claremont. Very fortunate, wonderful weather. Warm, but you can enjoy the pool that this home has on a day like today. Let's go take a look. Okay, all right, here we are. Welcome to 1562 Mural. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, here we are. All right. So we're gonna start in the living room. There's a sneak peek of the kitchen. We're gonna start in the living room and straight away, you'll notice that we have awesome views to the pool. 
Again, this is a mid-century uh, home. Even though it's a ranch style, it still is mid-century, built in the in the 50s. So um, big on uh, lots of glass, great views to the backyard. So here's a little sneak preview of the backyard area. Again, we have uh, a nice big grassy area. Um, these owners have two large dogs, so it's great to have a spot where the dogs can run around. And uh, if you have little ones or kids, grandkids, it's nice to at least have a little grassy area so they can play. And then obviously a nice big sparkling pool and a big covered patio. We'll go out there and I'll cover this in further detail in just a little bit. But for now, let's focus on this beautiful living room. This is a really good sized room. It's nice and open in here. You'll see uh, it's accented with the brick walls with the brick fireplace. And uh, that is a, a wood burning fireplace. And it uh, does look like there is a gas line going to it. But it's nice in these older homes, they were built to burn wood, which is really nice. You can't get that anymore these days. So nice brick fireplace with brick wall, kind of a nice little accent. Flip you guys around. You guys can really start to kind of get a feel for how large this room is. And guys, if at any time you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them into the comments. Um, and if for some reason I don't see your comments during the video or answer them, I will answer all the comments as soon as I end the live broadcast. Um, sometimes uh, Facebook has a little glitch where they'll, the comments don't come through live on my screen. Um, but any questions you guys have, toss them into the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And here is the dining room. Again, accented with uh, the same kind of motif with the, the brick wall and brick fireplace. More sliding glass doors for plenty of natural light. Again, we get a, kind of another view out to the, to the backyard here. And the big covered patio. And again, we'll go out there just a little bit. And if anybody's just joining us, this is 1562 Mural Drive here in Claremont, California. This is a three bed, three bath home. Built in mid-century. You can see here it's got some beam ceilings. And again, a fireplace, and this one also has the gas line going to it, but again, you could do wood if you wanted to. It is an actual masonry fireplace. Yeah, Michelle, the, uh, the living room is a great size, and it is a fantastic view. And again, this dining room, which, you know, you could repurpose it. Um, this could be more of like a den or TV room or something like that. Um, but it is right off the kitchen and has good flow right into like the in, the in kitchen dining area, a little breakfast nook. If you have a, a smaller family, um, this, could, this could be your dining area here and it could free up the dining room for other purposes. It all depends on what you need. Hi Marcos, thanks for joining us. The price on this property is 738,500. 738,500 is the asking price. It's been on the market since Friday. It's gotten a lot of activity. Obviously, it's a very nice home in very good condition, and it's in a wonderful part of Claremont. And just check out this kitchen. This is probably why this home is getting so much attention. The owners did a really good job on the kitchen upgrade. We want to definitely want to focus in on this fantastic commercial grade. This thing's like an eight burner stove, double oven. I mean, if you're a chef, if you're a cook, if you like to make big meals for your friends and family, um, I don't think it gets any better than this. And complemented with the built-in stainless microwave, plenty of cabinetry here in the pantry portion. Try to pan back and get that. They, as you can see, they put in recessed lighting. They smooth the ceiling in the kitchen double pane windows. It's nice. They went with the wood frame double pane windows, a little bit more expensive, but definitely much more authentic uh, to the house and the era. Huge uh, GE monogram 
refrigerator and freezer. It literally looks like something straight out of a, out of a uh, professional restaurant kitchen. Beautiful piece of equipment there. And again, here's the in-kitchen dining area. And now we're gonna go through, take a look at the indoor laundry room. And this is really nice. A lot of homes don't have laundry rooms this large anymore. And you can see it's got a sink. Anybody who knows me knows I love a laundry room with a sink. I think it's a great feature. And we don't see it anymore in a lot of the newer builds just because space is so, so valuable. So we have a nice big indoor laundry area here with plenty of cabinetry and storage for all your laundry accessories. And there is a pedestrian door that goes out to the, to the side yard. And this is a uh, really notable characteristic of these sort of 50s and 60s ranch homes. They snuck in a little powder room right off the laundry, which is kind of nice. It's small, but it's nice that it's here. And it's nice that, that at least, you know, it's usable. So kind of a nice added feature. And obviously you have all the plumbing right here for laundry, so why not? So again, this, is, this home was built by um, Olin Lewis. Um, now they're two separate companies, but they started out as one company, Olin Lewis Homes, and they built a lot of homes in Claremont, actually. Um, and they were active in the 50s, 60s. Um, and then in the late 60s, early 70s, the company split and became Olin, and the other company became Lewis of Lewis Homes. Tons of Lewis homes in the Claremont, Laverne, San Dimas, Upland area. Uh, I grew up in a Lewis home. They're extremely well-built homes. And this is an Olin Lewis home. So this is before they split. Um, it's really, really well-built property. Um, they were noted for building high-quality products. And here's the entryway where we came in. So just to kind of give you guys some, some bearings and where we're at here. It's a nice entryway. All right, now we're gonna check out kind of the second half of the house. And we're gonna start off with a, with a big treat. So the, the very first room we're gonna see is a bathroom and it's the bathroom that the owners have meticulously renovated and it feels like you're stepping into a spa. So get ready for this. Here we go. Wow. So huge soaker tub with jets. They did the wood look tile on the wall as an accent. You can kind of see that there's the jets in there. Really nice tub. You could definitely do some relaxing in here. And I want to show you up here the fixture that they used. Pretty cool and uh, definitely really cool for being in a bathroom. Kind of neat. I like it. Kind of give you a shot back this way at the vanity area. Dual vanity. Lots of storage there. And then check out this awesome walk-in shower. Take a look at that. Good size shower, really big. Multiple jets and heads there, so you have one, the one main head, the three body heads, and then the uh, hand shower, which if you ha don't have a hand shower, they're phenomenal. Um, when we were redoing my house, my wife was like, we definitely need a hand shower. And I was like, why would we need a hand shower? We'd never use a hand shower. And now I use the hand shower all the time, and it's super useful. And if you have pets, it's super useful for that. If you have little ones, it can be useful for that. So definitely a good addition. So if anybody's thinking about any bathroom models out there, price out a hand shower. And my wife was totally right. I was totally wrong. They're really cool and extremely useful. So that's the first shower. That's or the first bathroom. This is technically the hallway bathroom. Um, and, um, but there is a master, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. OK, so bedroom number one is being currently used as an office. It has great views to the pool. It gets a good breeze in the afternoon. And this room is probably about a 10 by 12, so not the smallest bedroom that we've seen. Be a great size for a guest bedroom, kids bedroom, or currently an office like it is now. 
So you can see that they have their workstation set up, plenty of room. And I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of focus in on the floors in this house. You guys can see, I can't get my camera out of the way there. There we go. So these are thin plank oak hardwood floors. This is, this is what everybody wants. This is the, the coveted floor. Uh, extremely durable. Uh, you can refinish it. You can restain it. Uh, it's the thin plank, and overall, it's just a really good looking floor. Runs throughout the whole house, except for uh, kitchen, laundry room, and bath areas. Hi, Jeff, thanks for joining. And you can see that right out this window, we have a great view of the pool. Look at that, look at that backyard. Oops, focusing on the screen, look at that. This is like summer in one frame. All right, we're gonna go to bedroom number two. I promise we'll get to the backyard eventually. We will get there. Bedroom number two. One thing I want you to keep in mind here is the, is the closets. When I get to my reverse angle and you guys see the closets, there's tons of storage, tons of closets, and then storage above the closets. So this is a really big room. This is not the master. And this is probably, um, man, this room alone is probably 200, 250 square feet. This is a big size room. This is at least uh, at least 15 by 10, if not 15 by 12. And again, another great view. All right, so now take a look at the closets. This whole wall. Hi, guys. This whole wall is closets. And there's storage above. So plenty of room. And again, this is not even the master. This definitely could be used as a master without a doubt. Get one more angle from this side. You'll note that there's ceiling fans in pretty much every bedroom. Nice added benefit. They do have the windows open today and the ceiling fans are on it. It's pretty warm. It's about 93, 95 out today. And it actually feels really good in the house. All right, and this is bedroom number three. This is currently being used as the mother-in-law quarters, but this would be the master bedroom because it does have the ensuite bath. Again, tons of storage. Pretty much that whole wall's closets with the storage above. Double pane wood frame windows again in here. Oak hardwood flooring in this bedroom as well, pretty much throughout the whole house, like I said, except for the kitchen and your bathrooms and your laundry. This room has a nice view to the street. Let's see if we can get a... Really a pleasant street, really a pleasant neighborhood. It's like any town USA, this neighborhood. I feel like it should be like on a magazine cover or something. Just very, very pretty. Yeah, great views of the mountains here. And here's the master bath. This master bath was recently updated a little bit. Um, before it had like a drop ceiling and original flooring and it was kind of a mess. And uh, not a huge bathroom, but very clean, very tidy totally usable and you have to remember this is this there's three bathrooms here and this is the, the second three-quarter bathroom so you still do have the spa spa like bathroom next door and the powder room but it's nice to have just something on suite again this in this era when this home was built in the uh, mid to late 50s the whole master bedroom thing was kind of a new a new thought it was a very progressive idea so this is probably one of the early one of the earliest uh, versions of a master, what we would now call a master suite or a retreat, um, having an ensuite bathroom. So a little ahead of its time. I sure can, Tanya. I will open the shower door, absolutely. And you can even see there's some really cool, that looks to me like an original tile in the shower, which is like totally 50s, very cool. So I'll just pan out a little bit so you can see. So your stereotypical kind of 50s stall shower. 
All the tiles in really good condition. Everything looks to be in really good condition. Hopefully that was helpful for you, Tanya. Let me know if you need me to show you anything else. Be happy to. Okay. So now, without further ado, we're going to go check out this, uh, this backyard that is like this summertime uh, pinnacle of backyard hanging out. Okay. And again, for those of you just joining us, this is 1562 Mural Drive here in Claremont, California. It's a three bed, three bath home, just over 1,800 square feet. It's been on the market now since Friday, so it's a new listing. And the price is 738,500. Oh my gosh, this is just like, I just want to like kick off my shoes and I'm going to hang out here. The breeze is wonderful. They've got two ceiling fans out here on the patio. Help keeping the air moving under the patio area, which is brilliant. You can see they have a huge built-in, original to the house. This is, this is pretty cool, actually. This built-in kind of barbecue thing. You can see there, throw some charcoal in. Get it going. That's where we came out of. So you can see the nice size grass area. And I, you know, of course I'm a realtor, so I'm gonna point out all the things that people sometimes forget or don't realize like straight ahead and all the way around we have a block wall, which is really nice. So no wood fences, block wall on that side and then a tall block wall on this side, an extended block wall, which is really, really nice. They do have a little side yard here. They're kind of using it for storage, miscellaneous. But it's nice to show that you do have some area over here, some storage, cool clothesline. Kind of reminds me of my grandma's house. She had like the same type of clothesline. Very nostalgic. Yeah, and just take in this pool and backyard. See, we've got some mature landscape. It's very private. Um, there's really no windows that I can see from where I'm standing, and this wall's really tall. So I don't think anybody could look over that. And so yeah, pretty private backyard. Good size swimming pool. And it's warm. I'm ready to ready to jump in. A little sh room for a shed over here. Some fruit trees. Looks like maybe plum. I'm not sure. Any, let's see, any citrus people out there? Or any fruit people out there? What is this? I think it's a plum. What do you think? If you know, put it in the comments. Hi, Tanya. Uh, yes, the pool does have full equipment. Uh, I don't know if it's heated or not, but I can certainly find out and ask the owners. Um, it looks like to me that they do have, yes, it does look like to me that there is a pool heater. So my initial reaction would be yes, but I can confirm that and let you know for certain. Nice little seating area over here in the shade. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna virtually put you in this spot. So we're gonna just be like right here. This is where your head would be if you were relaxing on this chair under the umbrella, perhaps with a beverage in your hand, watching your friends or kids splash around in the pool. Okay, so we got one apple guess on that fruit. Could be an apple, I don't know. This to me definitely looks like lemon or lime. Oh, we've got some over here. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see right there. It's a lime, I think, yeah? I don't know how to tell the difference between an unripe lemon and a lime. Anybody know? See, this to me kind of looks like it could be a lemon. So maybe it's lemon and lime, who knows? Best of both worlds. We have some beautiful lantana over here. Gonna attract some butterflies. Looks like possibly more citrus in the pots here.
The owner did recently put a new roof on the, on the home, so you can rest assured that the roof is relatively fresh. I don't know exactly when it was installed, but, it, I, but it's less than a year old. It could even be newer than that. And again, just a really nice hangout spot here. I'm going to take you guys back inside the house and um, have a little bit of time left. If there's any uh, areas of the property that you guys want me to recap or show you again, I would be very happy to do that. Meanwhile, I'm going to take you into the kitchen because that's a beautiful room. And we're going to take a look at that again. And then I'm going to leave you with my parting words of wisdom for this week. Just really well done. Again, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead, put them right into the comments. It looks like Facebook is cooperating with me today, and it's going to show me your comments live on my screen. So if you have any, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of the house, uh, if you guys like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you guys want me to show you any part of the house again, I would be happy to do so. awesome kitchen plenty of room it's huge it, it really it's really big it actually is bigger in person than on camera it's very long plenty of uh, workspace countertop space um, lots of room lots of cabinets and again they, they put some drawers in for pots and pans which is really nice okay So I'm gonna flip you guys around here. Hi, hi, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, very cool house, great neighborhood. Um, a really quiet street uh, with the pool and uh, the nice grass area, all the updates. I mean, it's definitely moving ready. So if you're one of those people that just don't wanna do anything to your new house, this could definitely be a candidate for you guys. Um, I wanna give you guys a little market update with where we're at. Um, things have been crazy the last about month or so. Um, I myself personally, um, I, I, I've been lucky enough to have some uh, good luck uh, in the last month getting some offers accepted. Inventory has been really tight out there. So we're seeing quite a bit of competition in the marketplace. A lot of the good properties that are priced appropriately, that are presented well, are receiving multiple offers. So again, buyers, I know you've probably heard me say this for like two months in a row now. If you're thinking about getting qualified, pre-qualified, pre-approved, if you're thinking about looking uh, to buy a house or uh, making any offers on a property, Please make sure you get pre-approved. Do it first, do it now. Find a good lender that you like. Find a local lender that you like. I have so many recommendations. If you need someone to work with, I'm happy to uh, give those recommendations to you. And uh, get pre-approved. Figure out what interest rate that you might be able to get because right now interest rates just, they just dropped again from last week. And I believe we're looking at between 2.8 and 2.9 most recently for a 30 year fixed, which is the lowest they've ever been. <laughs> so we have really cheap money right now. Uh, prices are still actually pretty stable uh, for the most part. So if you're thinking about getting into the game, get into it um, because money is very affordable right now. The cost of your loan is very, very affordable. Uh, two years ago, if you were looking in, to spend $2,500 a month, uh, that might have gotten you a five or six hundred thousand dollar house. Now, for twenty five dollars a month, you could probably get a six or seven hundred thousand dollar house, just because interest rates went down, which means your buying power as a buyer goes up. Um, so, uh, if you're thinking about doing it, now is a great time uh, to get pre-approved. Uh, like I said, competition is on the rise, though. So, uh, if you find something you like, you need to jump on it. Make sure you have a good agent uh, that knows the local marketplace. If you need any advice on anything real estate related, I'm always happy uh, to speak with you guys about it. Uh, I live it and breathe it, uh, a real estate agent full time here in the Claremont, San Gabriel Valley area. So I'm happy to show you properties or give you any information you guys might need. Um, I'm gonna be having another open house next weekend, of course, like uh, well, they just don't stop coming, which is wonderful. Um, uh, the next, next week's open house is gonna be a really cool house. I'm not gonna tell you where it is yet, but it's in a very, very coveted spot in Claremont. And it's in a very cute residential area of Claremont. It's in a very old portion of Claremont. So maybe some 
people out there might know what I'm alluding to, uh, but it's gonna be a really great house. Also check out, we have another open house coming up right after this one, my colleague Nicholas Nice. He'll be doing another open house for a property on Glassboro near the Claremont Club. A little bit newer build, a little bit larger than this home. So if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, a little bit newer, it could be right up your alley. The address for that one is 1931 Glassboro. And if you just pop that into Google, you'll get the information regarding the open house. So again, guys, if you have any questions about this property, about any other properties, or you just have questions about real estate in general, I'm always happy to chat. I'm always happy to talk. You can call me or you can email me joe pereca real estate at gmail.com and i'm happy to talk with you guys enjoy the rest of your sunday thanks for hanging out i'll see you on the next one Bye bye